remember the AWS stuff went down last week, had way more of an impact, way more of a blast radius than I thought thought it was going to have. And so this thing's probably going to have the same effect. And, you know, we're going to understand that if we're putting all our eggs in a single basket, in this case, a public cloud provider, they're going to be a single point of failure. And in many cases, if they have a tendency to go down a lot, then the services that are dependent on them and the systems that are dependent on them, software as a service systems, you know, other hosting services, things like that are going to cease to working as well. And there's going to be a cascading effect. And, you know, suddenly it starts adding up pretty quick in terms of damages that go to the companies, either PR damages, reputational damages, things like that, lost revenue. And as we saw in the AWS uh, outage last week, it quickly got to a billion dollars. I suspect it's going to be way more than that. And this will probably be around the same cost. So Microsoft pinned the cause of the outage to an apparent configuration change within its Azure Global Edge network, specifically related to Azure Front Door, company's content delivery and routing network. And the miscommunication triggered widespread DNS, here we go again, and routing uh, failures leading to users being unable to authenticate our access key services. This is kind of what we're getting to a lot. These, These kind of amateurish mistakes that these hyperscalers are making which is bringing down their entire system, misconfigurations, mistakes, uh, you know, network configurations, things like that. And it's kind of unexcusable. These things should be, you know, dual, tri, quad redundant. So in other words, they shouldn't be able to take them down. If some reason, you know, those servers go down, something else is able to take its place and so on and so on and so forth.